Aloha and good morning from Grass Shack, Hawaii. This is Allison Teal with Ask Allison. And I'm going to tell you some of my health and fitness secrets. First of all, health and fitness to me is a lifestyle. It's more than just, you know, oh, how many times can I go like this? Or if I do this a million times, will my boobs get bigger? No, you can't think that way. You have to really think of it as an everyday lifestyle. For example, when you get up in the morning, what is the first thing you're gonna do? Reach for the sugary, super ooh, cereal? Mm -mm, not the best idea. Personally, I'm lucky here. I get to reach for a papaya or reach for a coconut, but those kind of things are available to you if you go to your local farmer's markets or even to a Whole Foods. Try to start eating as close to the land as you can. Things that are processed, things that have tons of sugar in them, these are no bueno, stay away from them, uh, not good. I have been very lucky in my life to be raised by hippie parents that, you know, raised me on sprouts and tofu and gosh knows what else, and it has given me a cellular makeup that I think has catapulted me through life and, and will maintain. Um, if you feed your kids lots of yucky things when they're young, I feel like it's very hard to, you know, reorient those cells and suddenly make them happy and healthy. So if you are parents out there and you're listening to this, feed your kids well. It's very, very important. And, you know, I can go into that in other videos of the kinds of foods I would suggest, but basically, you know, stay away from processed foods and, and stay away from sugars. And I don't think people realize how much sugar is such a big culprit. For example, when I was on Naked and Afraid, um, I was starving, yes, but I wasn't having any sugar. And I actually came back healthier than you can possibly imagine because of the lack of processed foods in my diet. It was actually very interesting. Every time I have gone to a tropical environment like the Maldives, when I went to Fiji, um, I've gotten really bad staph infections from cuts on the reef during surfing. And when I was in the Maldives, I was cut to shreds from getting that eel and, and everything we did that was so challenging on the show. And I did not get one even ounce of staph or even the beginnings of it. And I truly believe it's because I didn't have any sugar. Disease loves to live and fester in sugar. That's how staph infections, you know, survive. Um, so sugar is, is no bueno. Uh, it will put weight on you. It'll make you have mood swings. Stay away from sugar. Um, if it's in chocolate, that's okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, dark chocolate. Eat dark chocolate. If you're a chocoholic, if you like sweets, try to have, you know, more than 50 to 70% uh, raw cacao in chocolate and and that should hopefully give you your fix. I am a chocoholic, personally. Yes, I admit it, I am. And that's just what you have to do, is stick with the dark chocolate and try to stay away from the sugar and the milk and the processed items. Blech. When I say health and fitness is a lifestyle, I mean what are you doing every day to keep yourself in shape and in your happy place? Because I feel like when you're in your happy place, you're healthier, you're more fit, and you know, you're gonna be able to then keep eating better and keep doing what you're doing. It's like, you know when you, you're like, oh, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna work out. And then you work out and suddenly it spurs you into this routine of working out for the next three weeks because you start to feel better and you're getting into it and you're like, yeah. So personally for me, I keep it as a lifestyle where I love to surf and I wanna stay in places where there is surfing. I have um, kind of <laughs> a low attention span with exercise and so I like to have a board or a ball or you know something I can chase or do and to me surfing is is fun you know I can chase the waves and I can be in it and I'm not sitting there thinking okay am I losing fat yet am I losing fat yet so that is very important to me to have something that I love and I think it's important that you find something that you truly love so much that you forget that you're exercising you know are you planting the garden are you vacuuming the house I don't know if you'd love that, but um, you know, are you surfing? Are you playing soccer? Are you dancing hula? Um, hula is a big one for me. You know, I just love to dance, and sometimes I will just get in my room and I will just start dancing hula, just for the fun of it, because that is what keeps me in shape. And I don't even know I'm doing it, and I'm having so much fun because I am dancing hula and Tahitian. And when you get those hips going, that can get the abs going and you don't even have to think of it. So find something that you really love to do and you forget that you're even exercising and try to do that every day. 
a lot of people turn to yoga or meditation and to me yoga is more of a lifestyle than just you know I'm gonna go into this class and oh, I did downward dog and now I'm gonna be skinnier that doesn't really work you know yoga is what you eat um, it's it's how your mindset is are you positive are you you know putting great intentions into the food that you make are you just slapping stuff together throwing it in the microwaves microwaves no good they kill your food by the way um, and then you know rushing off to your next thing alcohol is a huge culprit I personally don't drink I'm not bashing those who do I totally understand if you like to drink you want to have a drink that is fine I think alcohol puts a lot of weight on you and I think it you know it causes hangovers which can make you wake up in the morning and really not want to do anything let alone exercise um, especially sugary drinks like the pina coladas and you know have a coconut and a pineapple and mix it together but you don't need to have all that sugar and, and alcohol in there with it that's my personal opinion um, I try to stay away from that beer beer is a huge one um, and, and again I don't do this because I'm like oh if I drink that it's gonna make me fat I personally don't like it I don't like how I feel when I do it and I've actually never drank and never been drunk but if I do I'll make sure I film it so that I can show you all um, that would be really funny actually everywhere you go and everything you do you know try to keep your body in motion whether you're taking the stairs and not the elevator or if you get a call you know try to walk around the room while you're talking oftentimes if I get a call here I'll go walk up and down the beach while I'm on a conference call just because I know if I sit there that's not really gonna do my body any good I know that people often don't have the ability to do that and you're in an office but you know maybe you can even walk up and down the hallway or walk up and down the stairs or you know when you get home if you have chores you need to do try to keep moving while you do it and just keep your body active and uh, that will help keeping on moving the blood through you and that's what cleans your system and cleans your cells and keeps everything healthy in there I would say the most important part of all of this is eat you really need to eat don't stop eating don't try to starve yourself don't try to go on crazy diets I don't believe that that works now when I say eat I mean you have to eat healthy things but consistently the second your body thinks that it's not going to be getting food it will go into starvation mode and it'll start sucking in any fat from anything that you eat and packing it on that's why when you see people that are anorexic or bulimic bless your souls um, they can you know go way up and down in weight because they'll starve themselves and then the second they start eating anything even if it's a piece of broccoli it'll immediately turn into fat and it'll suck itself onto them and then it just becomes this horrible up and down process and you don't want to do that don't mess up your metabolism um, that's why naked and afraid was kind of gnarly and I'm very lucky that it wasn't longer than 21 days because when I got back I was like oh please metabolism I hope that you're still there uh, once you starve yourself it will mess up your metabolism and your ability to break down food will decrease and you will start gaining fat and gaining weight on that note fat is not bad but you need to have the right kinds of fat good fats could be avocado raw good butter raw good milk almonds really good raw ice cream cashews macadamia nuts Personally, I love really good rice, but I grew up in a lot of Asian countries and my body seems to be able to handle rice. I find that in the American culture, rice is hard for people, that kind of starch. I would say try to stay away from gluten. Um, I know there's this big craze on everything gluten-free and I'm not sure if everybody even really understands what that means, but basically wheat can be really heavy on your system and when something's gluten-free, it means it's wheat-free and it can tend to keep you more airy and lifted and be able to you know keep your head clear to me when I eat wheat I get kind of like foggy and icky but it's not that I don't eat wheat and it's not that I don't eat anything and I do eat anything it's that I like to keep in balance and balance is the most important thing ever you know if you want to have some cheesecake once in a while have some cheesecake just do everything in balance if you sit there and eat you know 25 avocados just because an avocado is healthy it doesn't mean that's gonna be good for you so you just have to keep everything in moderation um, again eating any Big Macs or any fast food I don't really call that moderation I would try to stay away from anything that's prepared very quickly that's microwaved that's processed um, that's been stored for a very long time 
if you look in your fridge and there's something that's been in there in a package for like three months and it's still good, that's a pretty good sign that it has a lot of preservatives and some not so good stuff that you do not want to put in your body. So I would throw that away. If it's plastic, recycle it. Also, I've noticed that travel can be extremely hard on the body. And I'm not talking like, you know, travel riding on camels and elephants. I'm talking about any kind of travel. Travel for work, you know, travel from LA to New York and you're up late and there's nowhere to eat and you're in a hotel and there's only room service. And on room service, there's only, you know, fried hash browns and wheat pancakes. And you're like, oh, I'm starving and, and I have this big business meeting tomorrow. Um, that can take a toll on you. So my advice in terms of travel is either scout out beforehand where you're going. There's amazing apps now like Yelp and Google and you can go on and figure out where these places are and there's reviews and everything. Or you pack your little goodie bags and your goodie lunches and you bring them with you. And I, <laughs> I will be found in many of airports with my little Tupperware um, with kale and quinoa and feta and this really good vinaigrette dressing that I love to make and sprouts and carrots and apples and lots of dark chocolate and um, you know sometimes my mom makes these incredible tempeh wraps that we bring with us on the airplane when we travel it's kind of a tradition um, but you know find your healthy comfort food and bring it with you when you travel or try to find a place where you're going that has it because Travel can really take a toll on your system and airplane food is you know, not really high on my list for most nutritional value in the world. So if you have any more questions on health or fitness, just throw me up a comment down there and I will do my best to answer them. Lots of love and aloha from Hawaii. And I think it's time for me to go get some exercise and catch a wave. Aloha.